When I press this button, I will wake myself up in my own video game. I've given this NPC my body, my face, my emotions, my behaviors. But why am I doing this? I need to run up a stack. So logically speaking, I need to make a hit video game. A digital copy of Lionel Messi has lived in the FIFA games since 2006, and today, Messi's been 3D scanned so that we can play as him with a gun and do harm. FIFA has sold 325 million copies, and Call of Duty has sold 425 million copies. Also, my hair keeps changing, I know. The process for making this video was long and arduous. And if hit games like Call of Duty and FIFA are cloning real-life people, I need to do that too. And that's why today I am cloning myself into my own video game. Having a digital copy of yourself in a video game is cool and not weird. There's a lot of ways we could put me in a video game. Take this Fallout New Vegas Riddick and or Vin Diesel mod. I'll kill you with my teacup. That's 3D sculpted, which is hard. So we're not doing that. Look at this Wii Man model. Look at him. That was 3D modeled, which is boring and not 3D scanning. Well, how do we 3D scan then? DSLR, full body, photogrammetry scanner. That looks amazing. It's $100 million. Okay, white light scanner. Small, easy to work with. 1,000 million. Funny app on phone. You've probably heard of this one. Get the app, take a bunch of photos. Boom, 3D. Yo, what's up, man? What's up? Birdsey, Birdsey, Quad, 3D game. This is my friend Nico. Hey guys, it's annoying Peter Griffin. He made this. He's a talented 3D artist. And so he's helping me scan myself. Wait, wait, look, it's done. It's done. 3D scan. Dude, what happened to your head? <laughs> Me. That looks just like me. My head's shaped kind of weird. Hey mom. Yeah, I told you I have a job. So this is what my hands turned out to look like. So now I kind of look like Patrick Starr or something like that. But I also don't want to fix that. So let's just have it. All right. So I'm not an animator. So I'm gonna need all of the help I can get. They're playing basketball. They're ruining our audio right now. It's a big open space where I can get some reference footage for me to do some activities that I might be doing in the game, such as, that I can do in the game. Wow. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> what would we use this for? Like, or like the teabag animation. That's, hold on. Yeah, that's a good teabag animation. It's like a Minecraft walk. It's looking good. There you go. Keep up that pace. Rest in peace. These are the cemetery. Wow. <laughs> you know how you can make like those teddy bears and you can like send a picture of your like your friend? Yeah. Bro, oh my god, I just realized now how floppy your arm is. What is going on there? Alright guys, I've made it this far and I've got the AI, I've got myself in there, I've got his animations in there. He doesn't have any goals or direction necessarily yet, but when I press this key right here, he will turn on and we can see what he decides to do. Three, two, one. Where am I? Where, where am I? What is my purpose? He's walking around. Oh, he's coming to me? Hey. Move. Hey, dude, what's up? What? I have ideas. Okay. All right. I don't really walk around aimlessly like that, but it's close and something we can work off of. I'm thinking of giving him a little room with some toys to play with. Give him some behaviors, some thoughts and things Move. like that. We can see if he ends up turning out anything like me. For now, it's not- Okay. Okay, that is really big. But I'll get back to work and try and make him a bit more interesting. Making AI is kind of hard. I don't know if you guys knew that. I've tried my best to give him behaviors that I have. Things like being sad a lot, punching things a lot, 
dancing. I mean, here, let me take you to my desk real quick. All right, so if we have a look here, this is his behavior tree, and it's a bunch of stuff that I don't really know how any of it works, really. I just kind of guessed. I've also got a bunch of animations and activities that I tend to take part in, right? So I have him running, and, uh, well, actually, I don't normally do that very often. I don't like that, but I finally plugged in all of that stuff so we could finally see if all of my work is paid off and I made an NPC just like me. All right, okay, so this is the, uh, test lab I had to build for him. It's good to keep his freedoms limited. Uh, we'll just keep it at that. The finished, complete NPC Liam is just waiting behind this threshold, so. Hello? NPC Liam, you in there? Okay, let me close that. You good, buddy? Hi. Okay, alright. Oh my- Hi. Dude! Hi. He's getting worse, dude. He's been having these anger- Hi. He's like de-socialized. Dude, Hi. chill, stop. I know you're bored. I gave you all of these toys, dude. Look, I gave you my favorite- Okay. Stop! <laughs> he tells me he's bored all the time. I he's cra- What? I got moves, oh, okay. Oh my. Okay. Alright. <laughs> this is nothing like me. I just don't understand. I've given him, like, so much nice stuff and everything. <laughs> okay. Look what you did. <laughs> he's happy, too. He's really happy about that. Oh my god. He, he's psychotic. He's psychotic. Clearly this isolation hasn't been too good for him. He just kind of acts up and does his own thing, really, to be honest. So I thought maybe I'd give him a friend. <gasps> Trending hip-hop artist Ice Spice? What are you doing here? Hey, NPC Liam, what do you think? Okay, he's hitting her. So that was a huge failure. Uh, after doing some research, I found out that AI is apparently can't have thoughts or feelings that would have been great to know but i did find out they're really good at just doing what you tell them to do i was thinking about this incorrectly from the start so let's shift our goal and see how smart liam is what if we threw npc liam a problem and see if he could solve it so i thought i'd put together a maze with a reward at the end to see how long it takes npc liam to solve the maze and get the reward at the end look at this little guy all right, so that's NPC Liam right there, and this is the maze he has to face. As a reward, he gets to beat up Ice Spice at the end of his maze, so we're gonna go see if he can find her. This maze is a little bit easy, but compared to the last test we did, this guy's pretty stupid, so let's just hit T and see if he can actually figure this one out for his try. He solved it for his try. I don't know what that means. He was so stupid in that last one. I don't know how he figured this out without even without even thinking, it looks like. He just walked straight through it like it was nothing. I guess AI are just really good at solving problems, doing things that you tell them to do instead of deciding what to do on their own. Things like emotions, passion, anger, love. They're not good at that stuff. So in the coming videos, if we're going to learn to make a successful video game, I need to shift my expectations. We're just trying to get him to do things that we want instead of giving him his own initiative because clearly the guy isn't going to be feeling any emotions. Any I am a father.